Welcome to this video about the ESP32. The ESP32 has Wi-Fi and that is great, but it is not perfect. What do you do when the Wi-Fi drops out or the ESP32 goes out of range and then it comes back in? It doesn't automatically recover. We have to make it recover. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem with Wi-Fi Keep Alive code that runs as a background task. So it's not going to mess with your actual real code you're driving your main purpose of what you're trying to do. And you'll get a visual indication of status of the Wi-Fi. If that's a value, stick around and enjoy the video. Here is my ESP32 and it has a really important task. Its job is to flash these two LEDs consistently. Actually, in reality, it's going to be doing my whole swimming pool water level management code. But for the purposes of this exercise, we've just got it doing a flashing of these LEDs. Then we have this LED here, and what it's doing is showing my Wi-Fi status. So when it's solid like this, we are connected to Wi-Fi and all good. If we're not connected and we're trying to reconnect, this will start flashing. And you'll note that these do not get interfered with when that happens. Also, I have some feedback going up on the screen through the uh, serial monitor so you can see Wi-Fi is connected and the IP address. Let's check out the code. And don't worry, if you can't read this, I've got a link to it in the description. So we have to include the Wi-Fi library and we do some setup for our uh, Wi-Fi network password and also which pins we're using for our LEDs. Then the main code we're using for the Wi-Fi Keep Alive is done using this this free RTOS task. So we, I called it keep Wi-Fi alive and you have to have this void parameters uh, set up for all of these tasks and then you use a for loop that looks like this. And basically what we're doing is we're saying if, uh, do a quick check, see if the Wi-Fi is there. If it is, then no worries, just skip out, all done. Uh, if it wasn't there, then it will continue with the code and we'll, we'll try to connect, which is what we're doing here. And then we start off a loop, which is checking to see whether we're connected and it runs until we hit a timeout. And in that time, it is flashing the, the Wi-Fi status LED on and off so we can see that, hey, we're trying to connect. When that process is finished, then we have an output at the end, which either turns that Wi-Fi status LED on, on high if it's connected again, or otherwise it flips back to low and then process repeats. Then you would have your own main code of whatever your project's trying to do. In this case, it, my project is just flashing two LEDs. So I created another one of these tasks with the, this sort of setup at the top again, where you've got the, the void and the task name and then the parameters. And we I just have it making the, uh, the other LEDs turn on and off, as you could see. Importantly, instead of using the standard delay function, you use this VTask delay function. And that frees up the processor for doing other tasks in the background. The last bit is then to use this task create pin to core code to activate your task with a bunch of parameters and another task create code here to set off the flash LEDs task uh, and with a bunch of parameters as well. And this is a free RTOS function that's kind of built into the ESP32 when you are using it with Arduino. And then your main loop, you don't actually put anything We'll give it a test. I'm going to go turn off the house Wi-Fi and then turn it back on again and we can watch the Wi-Fi LED and also the feedback that we're having through the serial monitor. Right, we can see the Wi-Fi has now dropped out and it's trying to reconnect. This process goes on for a little while, so I may just skip a bit here. And we can see we've reconnected successfully. Our Wi-Fi led us steady. The other two flashing LEDs kept going the whole time. And that's what we're after. If you want to learn more about uh, either the multitasking or the Wi-Fi recovery stuff, then check out the channel Simply Explained, particularly the video Keep Wi-Fi Connection Alive with Free RTOS Task. That was really helpful for me when I was putting this together.